Greetings to all, my name is Amir and today I'll present our work Rethinking Social Navigation, Leveraging the Best of Two Worlds. Robots are often found in controlled places like factories, warehouses and homes working as vacuum cleaners or performing in drone shows. They are important in specific fields like surgery and defenses but usually can only do repetitive preset tasks and can't learn anything or adapt. This means they need human help in new or uncontrolled situations showing a strong reliance on people despite being widely used. If we consider robots navigating in the wild and observe a few examples from a navigation dataset like a robot navigating a queue, the robot shown in the center facing right is visualized with white dots representing humans or obstacles, while the green path shown on the screen gently moves through the queue, nudging people to make way. The red path, which follows a basic navigation plan, takes a much longer route around without recognizing the social option to cut through. In another example, on a narrow sidewalk, the traditional navigation system moves off the path to avoid someone coming in other way. However, a more human-like approach knows it's okay to stay close and just keeps going straight. In a crowded cafeteria, a human-like strategy means waiting a bit for the space to clear before moving on, instead of the traditional system that takes a longer path around the crowd that will soon disperse. The human demonstrations we just saw is called social compliant navigation, which is ability of an autonomous agent to identify and respond to the intentions of other navigating entities by appropriately adjusting its own trajectory. We expect all the robots navigating in the wild to be socially compliant. However, we aren't there yet. Most robots today rely on classical navigation systems refined over decades of ensure safety and efficiency but they lack the scalability and adaptability offered by recent advances in learning-based methods. These differences bring us to our work's motivation. Is socially robot navigation really beyond what classical systems can achieve? Probably yes, which is why we need to explore this area despite extensive experience with classical navigation. Also, how are they really different? To find the answer, this work has been done with the objective of benchmarking social compliance by evaluating navigation system using the scanty dataset to identify performance gaps, present a prospective hybrid solution which combines geometric stability with learning-based flexibility for improved navigation, align robot navigation more closely with human behavior patterns, validate the hybrid system with physical robots in diverse social settings. Scandi dataset is used to conduct this study. Scandi is a large-scale social navigation dataset which was collected by four different human demonstrators in various social scenarios and the demonstrations collected here are assumed to be socially compliant. We first run a social compliant case study on Scandi. For every time step, we get human trajectory and trajectory from a navigation planner. We compare both the trajectories using a distance matrix. In this case, we calculate host of distance between them. For better context, here are some visual comparison of different host of distances. In bird's eye view, where white dots representing obstacles. The trajectories are almost similar and align with each other if the distance between them is less than 1. The trajectories move apart as the distance reaches 2 unit and with 3 unit distance or more, they are far away from each other. We compare human trajectories in scan D with 4 different classical planners and plot PDF curves on the distances. MoveBase utilizes Dijkstra's algorithm and dynamic window approach for optimal and real-time navigation in ROS. MoveBase Social adds a social layer to the standard MoveBase for enhanced human detection and response using LiDAR. Human Error Planner employs a social cost function to ensure human comfort and safety in navigation planning. Cohen extends ROS navigation with human-centric cost layers for complex, crowded environments. Considering trajectories with less than one hazard of distance as similar, among the four planners, MoveBase performs the best by achieving 80% alignment with human trajectories demonstrated in Scandi. Based on the findings, to handle 20% cases where classical methods fall short, we build a hybrid approach integrating the learning-based methods to it. We train a classifier based on the distance. Given a scenario, if the distance between human trajectory and planner's trajectory is less than some threshold, we classify it as trivial scene or positive class if the distance is greater which means the scenario is complex and classify it as negative. Given a scenario, we then query the classifier if it returns positive which means it's a trivial scenario and can be handled by classical planner. 
If it returns negative, which means the scenario is more complex and switches to a behavior cloning model for further navigation. The BC model is trained in a supervised manner to tackle complex social scenarios. We tested our hybrid planner, move base, and a behavior cloning model fully trained on ScanD and compared them with human trajectories. In the case of indis distribution data where the test data was from ScanD, both the BC and hybrid models performs best by achieving 90% alignment with the human demonstrations. When tested on unforeseen data not included in ScanD, our hybrid approach was still able to perform well, achieving 80% alignment with human trajectory. We implement the hybrid approach on two robots using different classical planners across two campuses, Jekyll at JMU and Spot at UT Austin. We concluded a human study using a developed questionnaire to assess the social compliance of robots in three scenarios, frontal approaches, intersections, and narrow doorways. The comparative results reveal that the hybrid approach uh, generally scored higher in social compliance than purely classical or PC methods. However, in two instances, the classical approach marginally outperformed the hybrid method. This suggests that while the hybrid method is often more effective, classical strategies still hold relevance in specific contexts. The research shows that traditional geometric planners can effectively manage many social scenarios, suggesting that advanced learning methods are not always essential. It introduced a hybrid navigation approach that combines the strengths of both classical and learning-based methods. The hybrid method demonstrated enhanced social compliance and adaptability in navigation in diverse environments. Finally, thank you to our collaborative partners whose expertise and insights have been instrumental in advancing this research work.